Hey guys, my name is Maggie, and ever since I can remember, I've lived in an orphanage. Life was good, and all the girls and teachers adored me because of the heart-shaped pink birthmark I had on my cheek. Except for one girl, Anna, who made fun of it all the time. On my fifth birthday, the warden called me to her office and handed me a gift box. I was stunned to see the tag. To Maggie, happy birthday kiddo. I asked the warden who sent it, but even she didn't know. The box had a beautiful snow globe in it. From then on, I received a beautiful gift every year on my birthday, and I never knew who sent them. I always shared my gifts with my friends, but Anna seemed to hate the fact that I was getting them in the first place. Don't get so excited. Whoever sends you those must be the one who threw you here in the first place. They probably don't even want to see your ugly face. At least there is someone out there caring for me, unlike you. One day before my 15th birthday, I got the prettiest dress ever. I was so excited and hung the dress in my cupboard to wear the next day. But when I woke up, I saw that it had been torn to pieces. I knew it was that horrible witch Anna. I ran to the lunch area where all the girls were gathered and yelled at Anna. Why? Why did you do this? Anna smirked and whispered, What are you going to do about it? Freak. O-M-G. I grabbed her arm and twisted it, and then we broke into a fight. When the warden came and pulled us apart, Anna acted all innocent, and she wasn't punished because I couldn't prove she'd destroyed my dress. I so wanted to get back at Anna. A couple of days later, we were taken on a trip to an old age home and spent the day with the residents. Just when we were about to leave, an old lady grabbed my arm and smiled. Oh, you're so beautiful, just like your mom. Wait, what? My mom? You, you know my mom? Oh, yes, I do. I could never forget that beautiful heart-shaped mark on your face. You were adorable when you were born. And look at you now, just like your mother. And then she went on to tell me the most shocking detail of my life. She was the nurse who was with mom when I was born. Your mom was so pretty. She was a beauty queen the year you were born. Later that night, I searched for the beauty queens from that year, and in no time, I was able to find her, and the information shocked me to the core. My mom sure was beautiful, but now she was rich and famous and part of a family reality TV show. I had some pocket money saved, and the very next night, I sneaked out of the orphanage and took a train to LA. I already had mom's address, and when I got there, I was shooed away at the gates, but I tricked the guard into thinking I was leaving, and just when he turned, I ran inside the mansion and crash-landed in the dining hall where people were having dinner, and there were lots of camera crew. What the heck? What's going on? Hey, I'm so sorry to barge in. Um, my name is Maggie, and I think… I think you're my mom. Mom looked at me and dropped her spoon in her lap. And then she started screaming, OMG, look what you made me do. My designer blouse, stop everything. Who is this ugly girl? Get her out of here, now. Ugly? I was then kicked out of the mansion. I sat outside with tears in my eyes. Feeling defeated, I picked up my bag to leave when suddenly a lady came to me. Hey, I'm Ashley, Celine's sister, your aunt and her assistant. I've talked to her and she wants to see you. When I walked inside, I was surprised to see that the cameras were on. Oh, my darling daughter, I'm so thrilled that you're back. Mom had taken a 180 degree turn. You're thrilled? You called me ugly and kicked me out just a while ago. And where were you all this time, Mom? Why was I in an orphanage? Please, let me explain, sweetie. You were taken away from me when you were in the hospital nursery. I searched for you everywhere but to no avail. And now, after all these years, you're here at my doorstep. I just didn't know how to react. But just think about how I felt. Let's talk about this tomorrow. It's all so overwhelming for me right now. Later, Ashley took me to a room. She was so nice to me and told me all about Mom's show and why the cameras were always in the house since it was a reality show. The next few days, I looked for Mom, but she was always too busy to talk. Instead, she directed her stylists to give me a makeover. I also got designer clothes, bags, and shoes. I looked like a million bucks. I wished Anna could see me now. 
One day, mom took me into her studio, and when I entered, I was greeted with loud applause. I was stunned. I had never seen so many people together in one place before. And I present to you my daughter Maggie. She was taken away from me at birth, but after years of tirelessly searching, we both found each other at last. What? Why was she telling lies? After that day, everywhere I went, people were screaming mom's name and taking our pictures. Mom was giving so many interviews with me by her side, telling everyone how I was ripped from her at birth. But when I tried to get to know her, she was never interested. She even talked differently in public, like in a sweet voice, which was nowhere to be found when the cameras were off. One day, mom and I got invited to a big talk show. She talked about how I inspired her to start a clothing line for teenage girls. During the interview, the host asked me how I was treated at the orphanage, and mom jumped in, horribly. My daughter was skin and bones when she came to me. Those people, they starved her. It's under my love and care that she's all healthy now. What? No, mom, they didn't. They loved me, and I was fine when I came to you. When we returned home, mom was fuming with anger. I tried to talk to her, but she went to her room and slammed the door in my face. Ashley came just then and hugged me. I really liked her. I wished mom was like her. One night, we went to a party, and then, as usual, mom abandoned me. I was so bored and wanted to go home. But when I stood up, I stumbled on my tall heels and bumped into someone. Watch where you're going. Oh, it's the peasant. Molly or Meg, what was it? It was Kate, a really famous model, and she was going to be the brand ambassador of the new clothing line my mom was launching. She was jealous of me and always saying nasty things about me, and I always ignored her. But this time, she went too far. It's... it's Maggie, and I'm the daughter of the person that just signed you, not a peasant. Oh, <laughs> you're the filth that got lucky. I just don't get it. Like, you came from an orphanage and became all famous and rich? Unlike people like me who actually work their butts off to be somewhere? Still doesn't change the fact that I'm here because I'm basically the owner and you're just a worker getting paid by us. And we can replace you anytime we want. That should really burn. Just as I turned around to leave, that witch Kate stepped on the tail of my gown and ripped it. But Ashley jumped in just then and she yelled at Kate. How dare you talk to my niece like that? Don't forget your place, Kate. She was angry like a fire-breathing dragon. But mom was even angrier because Kate stormed off from the party and refused to work with mom. When we reached home, both mom and Ashley fought like crazy. I was right outside the door and the things I heard shook me. It was your stupid idea to add her to the show. You said it would improve our ratings. You're my sister, that's why I listened to you. OMG, it was Ashley's idea to add me? Just for the ratings? I felt so betrayed. And she did improve your show. And now look at what that girl has done. Kate is out. You can find another model. You should have seen how badly she was behaving with Maggie. I just had to. No, you didn't. Get out of my room and fix this mess. The next few days were awkward. Ashley tried talking to me, but I was so angry at her, so I avoided her. Mom's mansion was huge, but lately it seemed suffocating. The fancy clothes, bags, shoes, nothing was enough to fill the gap I felt. A few days later, Mom was throwing herself a huge birthday party. She had gotten matching Gucci dresses made for me and herself. We'll look like twins, but I wish you would just get that birthmark lasered off your face. What? Why would you say that, Mom? You know, because of this mark, I was able to find you. I would never hide this birthmark. Well, you've found me now, so why do you still need it? It's really not pretty, but fine. No need to be so melodramatic. Now, put on a smile and come out like a good little daughter. Wow, she was really something. Mom had invited so many celebs, including Kate, who was all good now because Mom had made Ashley apologize. Soon, Mom's huge three-tier birthday cake came in. And to my surprise, instead of calling me, 
she called Kate and cut the cake with her. This was the last straw. I now understood mom did everything for the ratings, so I decided why not boost the ratings? I ran to the stage and grabbed a handful of cake and smudged it on Kate's face. And soon, we were both in a fight. Mom was furious. She had a crazy look in her eyes as she smiled for the cameras, but it felt like she was about to explode. But before that, Ashley came and took Mom aside to another room. As I cleaned my dress, I heard Mom's angry voice on the speakers in the hall. OMG, they must have forgotten to turn their wireless mics off, and everyone could hear them. I gave up that ugly freak all those years ago because I wanted a career. I wanted to be famous. She's your daughter, your flesh and blood. Flesh and blood, huh? I gave her everything. Expensive clothes, shoes, bags, and you saw what she did to me. What an ungrateful brat. She should have rotted in that orphanage forever. Moments later, for them, everyone was stunned and stared at mom. You know, mom? I mean, Celine. It's good that everyone heard what a monster you are. It was a huge mistake tried to stop me, but I was so done with these rich and famous people. Hey, hey, please, kiddo, stop. Kiddo? OMG, it was you. All those years ago, it was you who sent me those gifts. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you play with my emotions? Ashley was speechless, and I just stormed off. And after that, I went back to the orphanage. At least I was loved there. The warden, my friends, and the teachers welcomed me with open arms. But once again, Anna was there to tease me. Ooh, looks like mommy kicked you out. How does it feel to be rejected? Oh, Anna, you must be a really miserable person. Only unhappy people enjoy seeing others unhappy too. I feel rather sorry for you. My smug smile must have made Anna very angry cause the girl lost control and attacked me. But lucky for me, this time the warden saw her and punished her, finally. Sometime later, I found out that Mom's TV show was off air, and there was a whole campaign on Twitter to cancel her. I didn't feel sorry for her at all. She deserved it. Some weeks later, I was in my class when the warden called me to her office. Maggie, it's your birthday today. Remember, you get a gift every year. I don't want a gift anymore. Would you accept the gift if it came with an apology? It was Ashley. Why? Tell me why. You sent me gifts every year, and you never told me who you were. You hid the secret from me even when you saw me. I am so sorry, Maggie. I was there with your mom when you were born. I fell in love with you the moment you came into the world. But your mom didn't want you. She made me swear that I would keep your birth a secret and I would never contact you. But I just wanted you to know that someone cared about you. And now, after I've met you, I just can't stay away. What do you mean? Maggie, I want you to be my daughter. I'm here with adoption papers, and if you agree, it will be a gift for me on your birthday. Please, be my daughter. Daughter? She wanted me to be her daughter? I wiped my tears and nodded. I love you so much, Mom.